I'm Amit Jala, Nebraska Extension Weed Management Specialist, and this is for end field observations. I'm standing in a soybean field uh, which looks more like a corn field because of the presence of all the volunteer corn in this soybean field. Always remember that volunteer corn is very competitive weed not only in soybean but in basically any crop that you grow in rotation with corn so for example in here we have soybean field and a lot of infestation of volunteer corn and if this volunteer corn is not controlled it can cause significant yield reduction some of the studies we have done at unl shows about 85 percent yield reduction in soybean if we do not control volunteer corn um, and it is easy to control uh, um, there are a number of grass killing herbicides are available uh, and labeled in soybean. Uh, in this uh, field, we have sprayed uh, grass killing herbicides such as uh, Silac Max, particularly in this field, and it has provided uh, a really good control of uh, volunteer corn, especially when volunteer corn is a little short. We spread Silac Max in this plot when volunteer corn was uh, about uh, three to four leaf stage so early season control will be useful and if you didn't get chance you can even apply when volunteer corn is like very tall maybe at a higher rate of uh, grass killing herbicide so there are a number of grass killing herbicides are labeled in soybean that includes uh, silac max azure 2 uh, fusilade uh, post uh, these are all good examples of herbicides which are labeled in soybean for control of volunteer corn and in addition uh, those uh, grass killing herbicide can also provide control of some grass killing grass like uh, weeds which are present in soybean fields that includes like uh, foxtail species or barnyard grass or basically any grass weed uh, that can be controlled by using any of those uh, graminicides.